We are at Milano once again for a rematch of Eck versus Forbes. This is La Fortura, and apparently we have to drink it within 40 seconds. We have seconds. like three seconds left. You got Brian it. Brian Turco, you met him before. Brian, how are you, and what are we drinking? I'm good. What you're tasting is called La Fortura Espresso, mm -hmm. is because it's 10 single origins, meticulously balanced. I think I just a, had a single with, origin. With a hun I know, it's, it's balanced. Everything's both how balanced. How can this be so no. sweet? No, this is, is I, I put a tad, oh. a tad of sweeter, but believe me, it's like salt. It brings out the flavors. That's why 90% of, so of Italian round mouthfeel, chocolatey. Think of vanilla bean and cocoa. Brian, this goes on forever. I mean, it starts and here no and it just goes back, 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 back. But, but it's balanced, right? It's not spiked. It's no not acidic. acidic. Mm. No, and, and this is 10 beans. Uh, it's very hard. It took around uh, five years and around 20,000 tastes and over 15 combinations. So is La Futura, which we're making today, we're mixing This beans. is what we're, we're doing. We're going to roast. Is it acceptable to lick you the can. inside of this? You <laughs> can. No, it's, it's but look at the creme. Look at that. But what you're tasting is, as one man said, it was created out of poverty and fantasy. If anybody knows espresso, in the glossary it says a blend of several. The best are a blend of six to 13. Okay, so Andrea what Cup. is the challenge today, Brian? Well, what are okay. Michael and I going to do? You guys are going to see the intricacy of, of artisanship. It's tedious. Uh, what you're going to be doing is building this. I dithered it down to 15 keys, so there's not more than 2.5 keys. You guys are going to have to measure it. So here's the deal. I won the last Milano coffee challenge when we did our cafe latte challenge. You did. Congratulations. And Eckford made a cappuccino, which yeah. was delicious, but was the wrong item. Thank you, wrong drink. Okay, since I just found out that the bags of beans are 150 pounds each, I'm going to, uh, because I get first choice, Michael's going to go first. P.S. For anyone watching, I am 150 pounds, so this will be interesting. I will be lifting myself in coffee. Oh, my God. God! Okay. Yeah. No, no, oh, here. around the back? No, no. Yeah, so nobody sees what's the front. This okay. the heart of it. Oh, uh, oh, I got it. That's yeah. fine. I'm just faking. That's fine. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So now I've done that, what do now I do? Is you got to bring that to 2.75 keys. Uh oh, now I have too much. So what do I do if I have too much? We put it in this bag here. Don't worry. We do a lot of stuff for charity, so they're going to have a little <laughs> roast there. So that's part of the judging process. How much I go over? That's right. This is going to oh, be. Oh, OK, OK, OK. OK. 2.5. So now 2.5. Now you're going to have to go way in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty soft. Forbes, you're in trouble. Okay, two, uh, it took me three goes. One, two, five. Uh, so now. Nailed it on the last one. Push that button. The hot button. No, not until it's finished. Okay, now, now hit it. Okay, close that, baby. Okay, that's good, perfect. That's the remains of the day. We'll wait at the end. We'll wait at the end, we'll see. Yeah. You know what that feels like? Awesome. That's what that feels like. And now it's my turn. And you know, I always go into those things thinking I can't do it. And actually this time I I always mean it, but I really do mean it, because this involves math and that's not a good thing for Forbesy. It's okay, I mentioned the challenge when it comes to math. Okay. Oh, I got the names there. 2.1. I got to give you a tip. Oh, yeah, Mike got all the hints and stuff. Oh, no, I didn't get the hints. No, he got like 10. He was cheating. He was asking questions. He was saying, oh, I need help. Just 
Come on, no leftovers? None, zero, zilche. You can come up. Michael, unlike yourself, I don't cheat. Remember? <laughs> I'm cheating. What? Man, I'm at 197. My roast is happening. This may be the coolest thing I've ever done. You got to pick any black ones out. That's the whole artisan thing. She didn't do anything, did it? Oh, you got to remember in the clumsy one. You got it. Right on. Something this part? Yeah. Go back, back. Okay, that's good. Push that one. You got to push the side of it. Now what you got to do, Michael, is pull that out and make sure all the beans go in there. Boy. I could imagine after a day of handling coffee, um, yeah. soaking into your skin. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it feels good. Hey, Mike, I got my first crack. Look. <laughs> open it. Keep it open. Ah! Fiona's looks better. <laughs> I mean, why you, did you, you, you why did you call me in to break my heart? Uh, color. It does look better than Michael's, doesn't oh, it? Yeah, the roaster wasn't quite up to temperature. Yet. So, Brian, if you were to deem a winner in the Milano Coffee Roasting Eck versus Forbes Challenge, who would be the winner? Her color is really good. Um, and her waist, I think, is less. Here it is. This is La Michele, a waist of, of one pound, 1.2 pounds, or a half a key. And I have a waist of? You win. Oh. Three out of three. Where's the sad trombone? <laughs> okay, victory is mine once again. But the best thing is we both made great coffee. Yes, Thanks to the great beans, the great recipe, the great everything. Thank you very much. Milano you coffee, it. if you want the best coffee that you can get outside of Italy, so you got to come here. Mike, we'll see you later. Good luck selling that. That was good. Just my woman, who heals up spice, sweet vanilla, you can't